Today, I wanted to go over customizing the look of GNOME in Ubuntu or Fedora to look a lot more like Windows or even like a Cinnamon or KDE desktop environment without actually changing Linux that much. Up next. Okay, sticking with all my videos, I wanted to leave just one command to get everything done here so you're not having to copy paste a bunch of Linux commands into the terminal. Um, you just type in one command and it goes ahead and does everything for you. So I'm about to show you the command I used. It's actually modified script. Uh, the original script was GNOME um, Layout Manager from Bill Mavnermatis. Mavner and he actually created this script and he uh, did a fantastic job it basically allows you to use unity or change your vanilla gnome to look a lot like ubuntu's unity or windows or even mac os and those three options really are pretty much what everyone wants because it's what you are used to and uh, i'll show you the windows version of this you can go ahead and uh, switch to osx or uh, Unity, whichever you want. I do a mix of Ubuntu and some other things using GNOME Tweak Tool, but I don't want to get too far into the weeds on that. Um, for today, Windows is what pretty much everyone knows, and it's what I will be doing in this video. Okay, so let's go ahead and change our GNOME layout to reflect a Windows 10 setup. So we're going to open up Terminal first and bring that here. And then we're going to just run this one command that I've uh, redesigned this layout manager to go ahead and grab all the dependencies. So you can just do one enter of a command here and it will literally should, should grab everything for you and do all the needed changes. So let's go ahead and curl that. And we can get our little pop up. We'll go Windows 10 layout. Okay, so the last stream actually cut out on me right in the middle of actually the conversion. And what that was, was it just went black. It was completely unresponsive on me. And when that happened, I pretty much just had to reboot my computer. However, all the changes did go through, even though I did lose my screen and had to reboot. And it came back up and it now has my new UI. I suspect this is because it's enabling so many GNOME extensions all at once. And that's causing some issues as far as uh, doing all that just so quickly. Because usually, you know, you're enabling extension and waiting a couple seconds before the next one. This script just fires off all at once. And it takes, you know, less than a minute to run. So very important to know now once it is restarted we should be good as far as um going and using this and you can kind of see you have this no menu which is an actual no gnome uh extension that actually has this and this little windows button is our old menu so you have much the same functionality as you did before but it just gives it that windows feel and this is a great alternative because you know kde is being unsupported by red hat and it is just an overall great solution to those that just love the windows interface and now you can keep it thanks for watching my video if you have any feedback or comments please let me know below and if you'd like to see more tech videos hit the subscribe button and check me out on my website, chrystitus.com.